BBC Archives is currently digitizing thousands of pictures taken in Victoria in the early 1900s. But one event was not captured on film, troops leaving for Russia at the end of the First World War. These photographs, taken in Victoria in the fall of 1918, are of the Canadian Siberian Expeditionary Force. Victoria was chosen as the main assembly point for a vast majority of soldiers that were drafted into this expedition. Because it was the most direct route to Vladivostok. The Russian Revolution promised that Russia would pull out of the war, and this was very worrisome to the Allies, who uh, were concerned that um, stockpiles of supplies, ammunitions, food, would be suddenly um, made available to Germany and its allies. And access to certain ports and railways, too. But... When the armistice was signed, the Allies still wanted to send troops to Russia, so it became clear that they had other motives for doing so. Victoria photographer Ernest Crocker and his camera were allowed access to the Siberian expedition camp. Morale at the camp was very, very low. Out of 4,000 or so soldiers, over 1,600 of them were conscripts. They were quartered in these canvas tents, exposed to wind, humidity, the cold. On top of that, the autumn was exceptionally wet. And that turned um, the entire camp into this sea of mud. And when the armistice was signed, they were told they were still going to Russia, many against their will. It laid the grounds for mutiny. So on December 21st, 1918, the 259th Battalion prepared to leave Victoria. But among all of Crocker's photos, there are none of this forced departure. The officers actually ordered the people around them to whip them back in line, quite literally with their belts, and they continued along the street. Military censors forbade anyone to talk about what had happened that day. The ships left at the end of December. Before they had even arrived in Russia, the Canadian government was already in talks to send them back because they had seen just how much Canadians disapproved of the whole campaign. Canadian Siberian Expeditionary Force troops began leaving Russia in April. All were back in Canada by the end of June 1919. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.